Hi, it's Marco Catanio again. Uh, we're going to talk about service management, the concept of service management. A traffic control officer actually provides a great service. Why? Well, first of all, he or she has the knowledge, the training and understanding of traffic laws and traffic control. And the value that a traffic uh, control officer provides is in a mostly intangible form, <laughs> which is guiding you where to go and preventing you from ending up in accidents. Uh, that is quite a positive outcome. In other words, service management is all about having the ability to do something and being able to provide something to someone, uh, your customers. Of course that something should add value to that someone, otherwise it's pretty much a waste of time and resources. So putting a traffic control, for example, putting a traffic control officer in the middle of a desert without any traffic seems pointless. Again, the service will be extremely short-lived. So here comes another quite academic definition. It says service management is a set of specialized organizational capabilities for providing value to customers in the form of services. Well, the keywords being specialized, organizational capabilities, value in customers, and of course, services. So why specialized? Hmm. Because we're focusing on high tech IT infrastructure environments and not everyone can do that stuff, okay? Why organizational capabilities? Because we need the right functions, uh, and functions are also referred to as business units or departments. We need the right roles and the right people with the right skills and knowledge to fulfill the various roles. So in other words, the structure and the culture of the IT service provider, it needs to act a bit like an, as an enabler for delivery of quality services. So here's another take on service management, uh, or the management of services. It says, it's a set of IT capabilities and resources. Uh, capabilities is like what you can do, uh, and resources is typically what you own, including the functions and processes used to do what? Well, to plan, to implement, to monitor and improve the people, the processes, the products and partners that together deliver services to customers that add value to the business. So that's not a take on service management. Okay, well personally I like to see IT service management as a big black box. You've got custom requirements coming in and quality services being delivered to your customers. What happens in that box? Well, lots of stuff like recording incidents, uh, dealing with problems, managing changes, uh, measuring availability, uh, measuring capacity, uh, managing the security of your environment. It's like all the stuff that happens in IT. Now of course all the stuff that happens in IT also needs to be managed. So that's why you've got like the management, the control, the governance, you've got your quality assurance like mm, performing audits and also like continuous improvement. Now whatever you do today, you can do it a little bit better tomorrow. So that's, that's roughly what the model of like IT service management as a black box looks like. Okay, so just imagine service management, everything you do within service management is a big black box with like requirements coming in from the customers and in the end you're delivering quality services, reliable, consistent and high quality services to your customers. Well, services have their own characteristics. For example, they're highly intangible. You can't really pick them up like a car or a stereo or a VCR or like a digital camera. And if you go to like the bank uh, to convert some like US dollars into Australian dollars, and in the end, what do you really get? <laughs> well, you get money, but you already had the money, okay? If you go to a cinema and you watch a movie, can if you walk out, you don't walk out with the movie under your arms. You walk out with an experience. So that's the nature of services. They're like intangible. You can't really pick them up. You can't drop them on your feet and go like, ouch, that hurts. Also, demand is tightly coupled with customers' assets. In other words, if I have an issue with my PC, I'm going to call the service desk. If I have an issue with my car, I go back to the car dealer. If I have an issue with my, uh, uh, with my mobile phone, I go to the mobile phone supplier. In other words, there's, there seems to be this relationship between an asset I'm, for example, holding in my hands and a service that's somehow linked to the asset. It also says there's a high level of contact for producers and consumers of services. 
Well, that's true. Can I, if I call the service desk because I've got an issue with my PC, then of course I have to explain my issue to them. And otherwise it will be completely impossible for them to support me. So there's typically you've got communication going on between the provider of the service and the customer. Also it says there's a perishable nature of service output. That's very true. If I call the service desk because I've got an issue with my PC and then over the phone they restore my issue, well then that service will never repeat itself anymore. It's gone. Okay, It happened in the past. Uh, my, my PC issue was like resolved like two weeks ago. So it's 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 no longer exists. <laughs> yes, you can probably report on it, all that stuff, but it the same service will never ever ever repeat itself. Even if my PC breaks breaks down a second time and say it's the same issue. If I now call the service desk, a completely different person may pick up the phone and, and, and may start to provide support to me. And that support may be completely different than the original person. So <laughs> it's perishable. It it doesn't it doesn't stay there. It it's not like something that's like 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 repeatable and it will look the same and same and same over and over and over again it's always like a little bit different so there you've got it the four service characteristics okay it's uh, it's time to put some theory into action again uh, another practice what you preach exercise uh, the objective of this exercise is to understand your own services a little bit better so again, the idea is to create a table with two columns. Uh, in the left column, I'm going to ask you to list all of your critical services, uh, any you know of. In the right column, I'm going to ask you to list all your less critical or supporting services. Uh, I've put some examples on the slide here, uh, critical services, for example, an online retail service and the payment portal service. Uh, if your customers can't make payments, well, you go out of business very, very quickly. And supporting services, uh, payroll service and like uh, you can probably do, you can probably live without your payroll for at least a month or two months or three months. You can probably pay like people out of pocket uh, rather than electronically. Uh, the fax and copying uh, service uh, in many organizations has been replaced by like more like uh, newer technologies like email, uh, SMS, you name it. So get a bit of a feeling of what type of services you are actually providing uh, to those customers out there. Let's do another sample question. Uh, the question is, service management is considered to be, a s to be a set of which one of the following? Uh, answer A, service management is a set of generic organizational capabilities for providing value to customers in the form of services. Answer B, uh, service management is a set of specialized organizational capabilities for providing value to customers in the form of services. Answer C, Service management is a set of generic technical functions for providing value to customers in the form of services. And last but not least, answer D, service management is a set of specialized technical functions for providing value to customers in the form of services. Okay, so it's it's uh, roughly about generic, is, is the answer about, is service management about generic organizational capabilities, specialized organizational capabilities, generic technical functions or specialized technical functions. I'll give you a couple of seconds. Okay, well hopefully you've uh, picked an answer by now. The answer of course is answer B. Service management is considered to be a set of specialized organizational capabilities for providing value to customers in the form of services. Okay, if you're interested, the next topic will cover uh, functions and processes. Live long and prosper, and I'll see you next time. Cheerio!